I used to time how long I peed and recorded it in a Welcome spreadsheet and not by. long after my mom got me tested for autism. Reasonable right. call, I suppose? Why was my first reaction like, that's not that crazy. This doesn't help in my case. Remorse, my please. first reaction was, oh, what did you learn from the spreadsheet? Yeah, same. I was like, uh, okay. You're just going to come in here with that story about making an Excel spreadsheet about peeing and then not well, come in here with the visuals? You better have some graphs, motherfucker. New run idea, pink only. Ooh. You know what I was thinking of? We do need to generate new fun run ideas. Like bird percent, yes. It's chic, it's neo-modern, retrospective, with a respect for the past and a gaze to the future. But what's next, you know? Pink only? I don't even know if there's a pink suit. How neurotypical of you. <laughs> hey, what the hell? You're fitting into my chat so well already. Because like, other people in my life are like, you're not, you're so normal. And I'm like, like my mom, whenever I talk to her about the fact that I watched movies literally hundreds of times when I was a kid, over and over, because I wanted to. She's like, oh, no, you kids are just like that. I'm like, mom, what are you talking about? And I was literally, even later in life, kept doing that. But somebody was saying to me, talking about me, you know, being a little less than neurotypical. And they were like, yeah, I can see you being on uh, that Spectrum Internet. You know what I mean? And I was like, okay, man. <laughs> Fair. No, for sure, lady. I agree. I was kind of going through it for a bit, but I recently have gotten back on the horse of making YouTube videos. I was just in a really terrible spot. And then I was in an even more terrible spot. Aware. Now I'm in a much better spot. Even though I have bad days. So much more motivated to work on videos since Fast 50. And I'm just kind of... As soon as I can get my recording figured out. I, I really Hopefully struggle I with figuring out the right settings to record on. Like I got a lot of got a lot of echo going on here. Oh yeah, this is what it is. I'm processing shit. So although like logistically everything is going better in my life. It's also the most difficult it's been in a while. I like how like... Twitch streaming can be talk therapy, and it doesn't have to be sharing more details of your life than is necessary. You can just kind of talk about, like, philosophically how you approach life. <clears throat> but yeah, as I was saying earlier, men will do anything but go to therapy, and I think uh, just mainlining two months of streaming directly after the breakup was definitely a bad idea. <laughs> Apparently, it's a good idea to, like, deal with your problems oh or whatever, guys. Oh. I went climbing two days in a row. And I gotta tell you, it feels great. I'm gonna go back tomorrow. We're getting big and jacked and good at climbing. Do you have any plans for climbing real mountains and shit? I mean, I do hike real mountains all the time that are like fucking crazy big, but you just put one foot in front of the other. It's never actually climbing. But I don't want to climb outside. I have no interest. Okay, okay. Like, I want to try those American Ninja Warrior courses, man. Because I've been climbing. I have the downside of like not being a fucking D1 athlete. But I'm kind of built well. for it. For Although, I don't know. I'm not that tall. I feel like being like 6'4 would be kind of sick for some of the things. God, those do just look so fun Move to try to though. I think about strength. that shit. Or at least a, give me a wipeout course, bro. I always thought it'd be cracked at wipeout. Yeah, they definitely pick people who are like less than athletically gifted. Kind of like Wheel of Fortune. How they pick people who are actually terrible at solving the puzzle. So you're like, come on! Those big red balls look easy as fuck. Me when I'm the veterinarian performing uh, Clifford's neutering. <laughs> My friend was a competitive climber. So I'm like, oh, the skills didn't really translate. For sure. I think the running and athletics you would have to practice. But the upper body strength that you would have from climbing would make something so easy. Though mine's pretty mid. Although I got that crazy V going on. <laughs> As you can clearly see by my lats, mm. I can't do that many pull-ups. At least not compared to the dudes at my gym who are like 50, who like show up wearing like sweatpants, reading a book on the mat, and then just do the craziest shit I've ever seen. So I had to do a quick vacuum cleanup, and the last thing I heard before I went into the zone was Clifford's big red neutering is going well. Okay, well out of context, that sounds insane. If you could do a guest appearance on any podcast, which podcast, you guys know it'd be impulsive. Hit up my boy, Jake. What? Logan. Jake. Jake. Lo Logan. Logan Paul, dude. What about JRE? Go hit up Joe and be like, it's entirely possible, Joe. It's entirely possible. Or you know, if my career ever goes downhill, I can just sell out, become a grifter, and then like go on one of those like alpha male podcasts and pretend to be dumb and lose an argument against one of those guys. You know, that sounds like fun. 
Do you guys, you know, ever think like when you're moving from therapist to therapist, which I currently am? Yeah, I'm like, I wish I had like a fucking binder full of all the bullshit that I had to talk to my therapist Shit. about. So that I don't have to like rehash all the, and explain all the like dynamics to you. You know what I mean? I'm like, ugh. I need my past therapist to send a lord up to my next therapist. Wait, you're cooking with that one. You know, you can get a pharmacy to forward your prescription. Can you do that? Can you just get him to send over the like the the spark notes? God, dude, call me the syndicate. The way I'd be taking a serious blow. You know what I'm saying? I'm so lonely. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. The other day I was talking to someone and I was like, I think I want to get like some fun slutty clothes. You know? I'm like, I want to, I want to get like a cute crop top. And she's like, what would you wear them with? And I was wearing these like khaki shorts that you would wear golfing and she laughed at my face she cackled in fact and i was like oh wait i just realized i literally have zero sense of fashion bro my ass spent a lot of time wearing a i'm a gamer dad like a regular dad but cooler shirt crop top with some loose jeans yeah i was i was informed that jeans are the move I was informed that shorts that scream, uh, my dad will sue you, that I apparently have, which is what they were giving up. I don't, I didn't think they were just, they're just khaki shorts, man. Can chat please buy slutty clothes for you? Wait a minute. <laughs> that feels like something, <laughs> that feels like something you should have to pay for. <laughs> that feels like a tear on the OnlyFans, you know what I'm saying? That's cat made outfit content. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Yes, I absolutely have the legs to pull off a dress, but I want some like clothes that I could wear out. Impressive work might be pushing it. Oh, come on. I was talking to somebody who isn't as online as me and I made a joke. I think we were discussing how religious people by being restrictive because of their belief about sexual acts end up doing things that are less vanilla than people who aren't of those faiths. Like soaking? That's some kinky shit, dude. That's wild. I was like talking about this with someone and she was like, um, soaking? Is that where you pee on someone? <laughs> and I was like, honestly, I can see how you would think that. Now that I think about it, it made me laugh. And I was like, oh, I'm so online that I know what that is. Yeah.